Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero. Today we are going to discuss about token unlocks for Internet Computer ICP. In fact, this month there are two major token unlock events for Internet Computer. Will these two token unlock events have a negative uh, price impact on internet computer. In this video, I'm going to show all the relevant data, charts, metrics, and indicators. Not only, I will also focus on historical data so we can see what was the impact on the price in the past so we can understand what could potentially be the impact in this month. So let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. Okay, guys, let's start straight away with the unstaked uh, event of Internet Computer ICP. In fact, in May 2024, on the 11th of May, we will see a major unlock of 480,000 Internet Computer, which is uh, the last major unlock event for this year. We have uh, a couple more by the end of the year. For example, in November, 316,000 ICP will be unlocked. However, compared to the previous previous unlocks in the previous four or five months, these unlocks now are much, much uh, smaller. As a comparison, let's take a look at the unlock that went on in December of 2023. 1.3 million internet computer was unstaked. Uh, January 10th of 2024, 1.3 million again. Uh, once again, February of 2024, 1.3 million. March of 2024, 1.3 million. And April of 2024, 1.2, almost 1.3 million. Therefore, these were major unlock events for internet computer. And now we will see much smaller unlock events. However, um, this is not... Uh, my biggest worry. Uh, there are other unlock events that are bigger than those that I'm uh, displaying now. In fact, these are only unstakings of internet computer. I want to focus also on this in this video about uh, the seed and private sale investors and their unlocks this month. So uh, let's start by saying that at the moment only seed and private sale investors have their token locked and we have also uh, a very small amount of tokens that are locked for strategic uh, round investors. All the other investors are already unlocked. So let's take a look at the unlocks uh, in this month and future months. So uh, as you may see um, here, only this and next month, we will see still an unlock for strategic round investors. After that, only seed uh, investors will receive their tokens, which is overall very positive because this month and next month we have an unlock of 3.23 million internet computer while from july we will have unlocks of only 2.37 million internet computer and i just said just however this is still a big amount of internet computer okay let's now take a look uh, historically at the impact of the price on internet computer a uh, month over a month after this unlock events. And as you may see, in most of these cases, uh, there wasn't such a negative impact on the price as many people would think. Uh, I took a performance uh, month over month uh, so we can better understand also uh, on the longer time frame what the impact is. So uh, let's start uh, from October to November, 55% to the upside after the 11th of the month when uh, these unlocks uh, happen. Uh, we have seen um, in uh, November to December a 34% move to the upside. From uh, December to January, a 154% move to the upside after the unlock. Obviously, then we had a red month, as you may see here, 
minus 4.5 percent we had uh, then a positive performance from february to march after the unlocked 40 percent to the upside um, from march uh, to april we had a five percent move to the upside after this unlocks and for now from the month of april to uh, the month of may we have not reached the uh, 11th of may as of yet so i cannot count the full month however for now minus 15 percent so uh, we have one two three four five green months and only to uh, red months we just uh, once again shows and proves my theory that i did mention on this channel that until the sentiment is positive for a project until there are positive news events hype in the market uh, the unlocks are not so important because one uh, it is not guaranteed that the seed investors will sell straight away even though they have massive incentives two we may not know exactly what will happen with the unstaked tokens will be those tokens staked again for longer periods or will be uh, those tokens sold on the open market or will those tokens just stay somewhere in some wallet um, and those whales maybe are waiting for better times to sell we exactly do not know there are multiple possibilities so the first possibility is that they will sell straight away and dump these tokens on the open market the second possibility is that they will uh, stake these tokens and the third possibility is that they will just simply hold these tokens and wait for a better time to sell Therefore, uh, since there are multiple possibilities, we cannot really predict what is going to happen. We can only speculate and track this performance. However, once again, the point here is if the sentiment is very positive, bullish, if there are positive news, in my opinion, the um, unstaking events and the unlock events are not so particularly worrisome in the short to medium term obviously in the longer term they will have an impact however uh, i want you also to understand that in my personal opinion these unlocks are very necessary as those are means to transfer uh, tokens from whales to retail investors uh, let's now take a look at uh, the um, genesis token allocation and we may see that at the genesis 99.8 percent i'm sorry 99.2 percent of the supply was in the hands of whales less than thousand participants okay this is very very important to understand why because uh, we had seen uh articles from delia capital stating that the majority of the supply is in the hands of the whales However, what uh, is important to mention that this was the case from the beginning and that with time the supply did flow from whales to retail investors. And this is just uh, how most of the projects uh, start developing. In fact, uh, these projects need seed investors uh, and all these early investors because they need capital to start growing to so start developing to start working to pay team members that will work on the project and we have seen so far in the last three years that the definitive foundation kept on developing it's not like a zombie project like forbes states there was constant development of development of the project okay so uh, let's now uh, take a look at other uh, metrics uh, first of all let's understand how much did these investors pay for their internet computer in the first place so the most worrisome are obviously the seed round investors that did pay only 0 0.035 dollars per internet computer private around uh, investors and strategic round investors those prices are not crazy in fact 
I would say there are still even high prices. Strategic round $1.9 for internet computer and private round $4.55. And let's keep in mind that these people uh, received uh, and paid for these um, tokens in 2018. Therefore, they have been waiting for six years and the price did not pump so much for now. What about seed investors? Obviously, they are in huge, huge, huge profits and they have an incentive to sell their internet computer. I believe that for them, there is not like a huge uh, difference if the price is sitting at $13 or $17 or $25, they still made multiple, multiple, multiple access. Therefore, I believe that when this unlock un um, unlocks happen, that at least part of these tokens will be sold to the open market, which once again, in a bullish scenario, this is positive long term for the project as these um, tokens will flow to retail investors. Okay, let's now take a look at this article from uh, Delia Capital, actually a post on X. And many people got uh, panicked by this post and they did mention that this is very negative uh, for internet computers. So 78.11% of the supply is concentrated in the hands of 0.12 holders. However, what they didn't take in consideration is the allocation at Genesis when where 99.2% of the supply was concentrated in the hands of less than 1,000 people. Here, now around 2,000 people hold, as they mentioned, 78.11% of the supply. However, this number is much, much lower. And we can take a look at this uh, post from Kyle Langham, that is a Definity member, and that explains why this number is lower. So of the 395 million tokens that were mentioned, at least 59.1 million are held by exchange hot and cold wallets. These wallets are obviously custodial for ICP owned by many, many people. Therefore, more than 10% of the tokens that were mentioned there, in fact, maybe even 15% are held uh, in hot and cold wallets. And therefore, there are multiple uh, owners of these tokens. Obviously, there are a ton of retail investors as well there. So the number that Adelia Capital shows of 78% is a much, much lower. 56 million uh, tokens are liquid tokens owned by Definitive. Obviously, uh, that's also something that is necessary. They need to pay for their operations going on for the development of the project. And this is absolutely needed. 29.2 million are Definity Neurons staked for eight years. Therefore, even though um, those are tokens held by whales, they are staked for uh, the long term. Therefore, there is um, no um, problem whatsoever in the short to medium term. And you can pose yourself a question. Hey, will those tokens be dumped on the open market? No, because they're uh, locked for eight years. Same story for the tokens of the Internet Computer Association. 10.5 million are uh, staked for eight years. So those figure above represent 37% of the amount that uh, was mentioned uh, before. Uh, therefore, um, what I want to uh, mention and highlight here at Genesis 99.2% and now obviously uh, lower than 70% that is held by uh, whales. Uh, overall, um, the project has been launched three years ago, which shows that in three years, a high number of tokens were transferred from whales to retail investors, which is a trend that, in my opinion, will continue as internet computer will grow over time, as the interest in internet computer will grow, and as we see new retail investors that will uh, join uh, the market and will start trading internet computer. Moreover, um, 
we need to take also in consideration that internet computer has um, b b mechanics that are, um, let's say, uh, they're burning tokens, but they're also minting new tokens. Therefore, there is an inflation going on for internet computer, 4% inflation a year. Also, this 4% of inflation, very important because uh, part of these tokens or actually all these tokens are used to pay uh, node providers and to pay uh, stakers of internet computer and provide them the juicy staking rewards. Obviously, I also did mention in previous videos that there is a possibility to burn even more internet computer with Utopia. There is a possibility that internet computer becomes deflationary because we will see potentially new enterprises, companies, governments, NGOs that will need to buy internet computer in the open market to pay the fees to use Utopia and these tokens will be burned. Therefore, over time, not only potentially new market participants that will then need to buy these tokens potentially from whales but also these tokens will be burned they, therefore they will be removed from circulation that will then uh, lower the amount of tokens that whales are holding so overall it is not the end of the world i believe that we will need to monitor the data for longer period of times to understand uh, the impact of this token unlocks. Obviously that the token unlocks are not something that is positive for the price. However, it's not also the end of the world in my opinion, especially if those whales are um, selling their tokens over longer period of times. And I believe they're not dumb, they're not stupid. They will not dump all their tokens at once on the open market because it's not in their best interest. In their best interest is to sell these tokens slowly over longer period of times to be able to get a better price. And that's also uh, something positive if and only if we will say uh, we will see a constant increase in the number of holders that will then uh, buy this up with time and in maybe five to ten years uh, retail investors will hold the majority of the tokens and obviously this will um, have as an effect the decentralization also of the whole network that is already more decentralized than all the competitors we have seen the nakamoto coefficient in previous videos as well however this will enhance once again the decentralization of the network and over time we have seen as well that the voting power of the internet computer association and affinity is slowly but surely dropping so overall over longer period of times, if the trend continues, I think uh, this is positive and we are on the right path. Obviously, guys, um, I will keep you updated on the 11th of May. We can take a look again on all these data charts, metrics and indicators to understand what is the impact in the short term. Will there be an impact or will this trend continue that the price actually did uh, grow over time after this unlocks as um, a consequence of obviously news hype uh, sentiment that is uh, very positive at the moment for internet computer even though I did show the social risk the sentiment is overall down in the sense that there are less uh, participants new participants to the market because we are not in altcoin season yet however i believe that when we uh, do reach an altcoin season and potentially this uh, could happen in my opinion already next year that we will see a ton of new market participants hype positive news due to all the uh, narratives that the Definity Foundation is working on, like Utopia, artificial intelligence, chain key technology, and much, much more. Okay, guys, if you like the content of this video, smash the like button. I will keep you updated about uh, zombies and um, I will present my t-shirt hopefully already on Sunday. I cannot make promises. However, uh, that would be great if it will be ready by that time. I will have my camera, a new camera by that time as well. So um, 
a lot of positive news for this channel as well. If you like the content, subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.